Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Ebin Jose, an interventional radiology resident. And today let's talk about an important question every need PG or uh, MBBS student faces, whether you take MD radiology or DMD radiology. So in this video, let's clear all the myths and talk about the real differences. So MD and DNB both will make you a radiologist, no doubt about it. And uh, you will have no differences in terms of registration with NMC or future eligibility. And both of these programs are three years. So the only difference is MBA is done in medical colleges, whether they are a corporate or whether they are government, private or even centralized institute. And all these colleges will be associated with a university, whether it's state university or a centralized university. Uh, in case of DNB, they, the DNB radiology is done in corporate hospitals or top corporate hospitals or private hospitals. And they'll be all under National Board of Examination, that is NB. So here's where the differences will come. So let's talk about MD. MD is in medical colleges. So uh, mostly you will have more academic background. You will have more uh, seminars, you will have classes, viva, and I would say more research opportunities. And in a batch, in a medical college, you will have around eight to 10 MDs in one batch, I mean, students in one batch. And um, basically, I would say in um, medical colleges, the professor's main uh, idea is to teach you or to train you more than to finish the work or finish the cases. So their priority will be your learning and second will be the work. Uh, now let's come to these corporate hospitals where DNB will be there. So in DNB, uh, there will be consultants, not professors. So these consultants, their primary goal is to finish the work in the private hospital because they will be answerable to the management. So their first priority is work. Second would be academics or second would be residents. So uh, there are a few, um, I would say, DNB hospitals that have excellent academics. But if you see the majority of the places, they do not have academics. But what they, they do have some advantages. Some advantages would be they will have all the high-end cases. They'll, be, they'll have all oncosurgery, gastrosurgery, and they'll have references from everywhere. And they'll be doing reporting of all high-end MRIs, like MRI, entrography, cardiac MRI. And um, so these things, they are only found in few medical colleges, the Apex Medical Colleges. So in corporate hospital, majority of them will have all these high-end MRI, CT cases, and you will get trained in all these modalities. That is one advantage. Another one is, um, you know, all your reports will be continuously scrutinized by a consultant before it is reported. So in medical colleges, uh, after maybe your first year, in second year, you will start getting your reporting rights. So after that, you will be just asking your seniors, okay, is this right? Is this that? I mean, you will get help from your seniors and professors, but you will be signing off. So you end up missing a lot of things because in three years, definitely, I mean, no matter how good you are, how much you read, you will definitely make mistakes. And it is better to have somebody to correct you at every step. So in case of DNB, you will have a consultant that will be, you'll be drafting for a consultant, consultant will see it and will sign off. So that's another advantage. So another one I was telling like MD, uh, there will be around eight to 10 batchmates in one single year. In DNB, it is only one, two or three maximum uh, batchmates in a year. So the issue is you're going to have a lot more duties because, uh, you know, one person in a batch. So in three batches, there'll be three people. So three people managing the whole month's night rotations and holiday duties will is usually more hectic. But that will definitely vary on places. So even though um, I told that, you know, DNB hospitals do not prioritize academics, but there are few hospitals I would say are very good. For example, where I got trained was uh, I did my DNB radio diagnosis in Maripal Hospital, Old Airport Road, Bangalore. So I would say there we had classes every single day, every single day, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. would be class no matter what. And every three months we used to have these tests and some Viva classes, etc. So I would say in three years we had so much class, you know, I mean, I had a solid knowledge when I got out of Manipal. So I would say there are some really good MD colleges. There are few few really good DNB hospitals. So I would say don't go by the name of the degree, go by the caseload and academics and how good it is for you. Now let's talk about the exams. So basically MD exams, you're going to have your theory exam and then you're going to have your practical exam and that will be in your own institute, home institute. You're going to have a few internals and then your externals will come to your a hospital and then you're gonna have your practical exam so they are usually um, i would say easier to clear because their theory exams are usually easier and their uh, ev evaluation is little more liberal and the practical exam their own in it is happening in their own institute 
So there are few advantages because the internals know how good you are. So even if you mess up a one case or two case, long case or short case, so they are there to vouch for you. And uh, definitely you will have that confidence that, okay, he is there. He knows how hard I have worked in these three years. And based on that, there is a high chance that you'll pass. But the you know, issue with DNB is, I would say, a DNB, you have to write your theory exam. So that will be in a different center. You have to go to these online centers and you have to, that will be allotted to you. It can be anywhere in India, but you can give your top three priorities. So a DNB theory exam and, uh, and this DNB theory exam is after two and a half years of your course, not after three years. In MD, your theory and practical after three years. But in DNB, after two and a half years, you'll have your three th theory. And at the end of three years, you'll have your practical. And this DNB's theory is you have to go to the centers and write the exam. And, and the evaluation is very tight because I myself have written it. Because even though I wrote very well, I would say I have just passed by maybe uh, 20 marks. So uh, I would say the uh, margin is pretty less. But in case of um, practical, uh, it is, I would say, you will have to go to another institute, another state, wherever you are allotted, you have to go. And all your batchmates will not get there. Or like usually your batchmates will get different institute or a different state completely. So you will go to a new place where you don't know the internal, the external, because there is no internal, it's all externals. So um, another institute, another state, language barrier, and with all this, you'll be giving the exam. And uh, you'll have that anxiety, I would say. And the exams are a little more tougher. And more than the um, toughness, I would say, uh, the people who come there, no, uh, they feel less accountable. That's what I feel. Like even if they, even if I fail this person, so they don't feel that, you know, think, okay, I came to an institute and failed them because we are not from that institute. They are coming from somewhere, you know, some, from some part of India. So I feel they feel they are less accountable when they come for this DNB practical exam. And because of that, there are more failure rates. But I would say when I joined my seniors, there were very high failure rates. But from, I would say my batch and my junior batches, the, the pass rates have significantly improved, whether it is theory or practical. And I feel it is much more fair now. But bottom line, let me tell you something. If you have taken DNB or if you want to take DNB, you would have read a neat PG. You would have done your MBBS, you would have cleared your neat PG. So you are smart. So in these three years, when you're getting trained, if you have read well, there is no way that you're going to fail in your theory or practice. That thing I can guarantee you. If you have put your efforts in these three years, or let's say even in the last 60 days or 45 days of your exam where you get your study holidays, you have read well, definitely you'll pass, no doubt about it. It won't be that unfair. But you won't have any advantages. That's what I wanted to say if you take up DNB radiology. So let's talk about the future scope. So here I would say whether you've taken MD or DNB, you can work in all corporate hospitals, government hospital, diagnostic centers. You can do your further studies, whether it's a fellowship, DM, DRNB, etc. I mean, there is no difference at all. It is just the same because both are three years and both are equal degrees, whether it is legally or by perception. Earlier, yes, uh, people had a perception that MD is better. Now it is the same. Everybody has realized it. And uh, one thing I would say is that if you have taken MD, it will be easier for you to continue in a government setup. Uh, DNB people, I would say it is easier for them to get incorporated into the corporate setup after they pass their DNB. Because they know the work culture, they know how it is. So the corporates, they, some, some of the corporates, they'll prefer DNB. And if it is government hospital, they prefer an MD. And if you have done uh, from um, a 500 bed in a hospital in a DNB, I would uh, you don't need to do that one year of extra service in MD also. So you'll be considered equal after three years. But if you if it is a less than 500 uh, bedded hospital in a DNB, you will have to do one extra year of government service to get the same level of post, whether it's associate or assistant professor, etc. So if you ask me in short, I would say don't go by the tag, go for the institute. You have to see how good the institute is in total. You have to see the workload, the academics, and the supportive environment, how good the consultants are, professors are, uh, if there is any you know toxicity, if the seniors are good. And uh, you won't get everything, that I can guarantee you. But I would say try to get a balance of it and try to find your balance and choose that. Uh, because you're going to be spending the next three years over you there and it will be the formative years of your career. So I feel that is very important. And suppose you're lacking on something in any of these above, whether it's academics or you don't have a CT scan or an MRI in that place, don't worry. 
three years is not the end of it. You have your whole life to learn. So I would say, you know, if you have done BNB, go work in a, a, a government setup maybe for a year or two. If you have done MD in a government hospital, go work in corporate for a year or two. You will get the best of both worlds. So I think that is a way to go about it. So if you like this video, um, hit a like and subscribe for more radiology insights. And if you have any doubts, uh, drop it in the comments below. Thank you.